What's up everybody? Hope you are having a wonderful day. When you encounter data set for the first time, you would want to know about it. You would want to know what is the distribution of different data variables, what are categoricals and continuous columns, minimum maximum values, missing data values, correlation and so on. Now coding for this task can be time consuming and can be error prone as well. That's why in today's tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a Python library named Sweetwiz, which can perform EDA on our data set with just two lines of code. Sweetwiz can be used for future analysis, target analysis, data set comparison and correlation. So let's get started. All right. So as you can see on my screen, I have already started Jupyter Notebook. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So we will first explain how to generate report. Then I will explain how you can do target variable analysis, compare different data sets, and then compare the data sets based on some Boolean variable. So that's what we are going to cover in this tutorial. Now, in order to use SweetWiz, first of all, you need to install it. And the installation process is very straightforward. You simply need to execute this command, pip install SweetWiz, and it will install the library. So first of all, let me import the library and print the current version which is installed on my system. So this is the latest and stable version of the library. Now in order to generate report, we need data sets. So I have decided to use uh, two data sets which are easily available from uh, Python library scikit-learn. It's a machine learning library. So the first data set is a wine data set. So let me load the data set as a pandas data frame. Data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of uh, three different types of wine. So alcohol, malic acid, ash, all these are various ingredients. So all these are continuous columns and wine type. So this is the target variable and it's a categorical column, which has three values, class zero, class one and class two. All other columns are continuous columns. So this is our first data set. And the second data set is a breast cancer data set. So this one is also available from scikit-learn. So I have loaded it as well for as a pandas data frame. So it has various measurement about uh, various tumors. And the target variable in this case is a type which can be zero and one. So zero being benign tumor and one means malignant tumor. So this is the second data set that uh, I will be using to generate report. So now that we have loaded both of our data set as a pandas data frame, let's go ahead and generate report. So now in order to generate report or EDA for a data set, it suggests simply two lines of code, as I said at the beginning of the tutorial. First of all, you simply need to call analyze function on SweetWiz module and you need to give it our data set and it will return a report object. So that's what I have done over here. I have executed this line of code. And as you can see, it has generated a report object. So it's of time data prep report. Now in order to see this report and our EDA, there are two different uh, methods. One is show HTML. So this method will save the EDA as a HTML file in the current directory and then will open in new tab in the browser. And if you want to see it in the notebook, then you can use this uh, method name show notebook. So for this tutorial, I will use a show HTML. You are free to use whichever you are compatible with. So as soon as I executed this line of code, as you can see, it says that it has saved and that new tab in the new tab, we have our EDA report. So let's explore this report. So first of all, it says data frame, then it says count of row, how many duplicates, what is the size of the data set? So it says there are 14 features in the data set. One is categorical and 13 is numerical. There are no text features in the data set. So it checks for that as well. And then I click on this button association. As I click on association button on the right side, I can see kind of a heat map. So this is a correlation heat map. As you can see, you can explore it. It's uh, the circle size are based on uh, correlation. And it's a Pearson correlation, which is in the range minus one to one, as you can see over here. So that way you can check the correlation between various features of your data set. Next, you can explore individual columns. So let's say I click on alcohol. As soon as I click on alcohol on the right side, as you can see, it has a histogram. Other than that, uh, 
uh, correlation of this alcohol with different columns of our data set with uh, categorical column what is the relationship what are most frequent values smallest largest values other than that you can see over here what is the missing values count how many distinct values are present for this column so there are 126 different values for alcohol what is minimum value maximum value average median mode then 95 percent quartile and so on so all the information is available over so you can explore each of the variable so all of these are categorical or not categorical continuous columns only the last column so this one is categorical and in this case as you can see it's a bar chart with a count of three different values of that column so we have class 0 class 1 and class 2 three different values for that category so yeah so it's that simple to create this eda we were able to create this eda with just one line of code you can see and if we would have tried to code this by ourselves it would have taken a lot of time and some things might have turned out to be error so this can save a lot of time on our side all right so in the second section i am going to explain how you can use for a target variable analysis so you can generate the same eda report but this time consider one of the column as a target column so we use same function analyze and then i have given our uh, data set over here so this time i'm using a breast cancer data set and you can give data set as a simple tuple or list so first is the data set and second is the name of the data set so you can give that as well then you need to set a target feature to this parameter to the column of the data set that you want to consider as a target column and then it will generate the report so now keep in mind that uh, currently it supports target feature as a continuous column or another column which is a boolean so if your target column which has like uh, three different values more than two classes like our wine data set then you won't be able to generate report you would have to treat it as a continuous column if you want to generate a report with that column as a target feature so our report is generated so let me show you so majority of things i same as earlier as you can see over here for a breast cancer data set there are 569 rows so 141 kb 31 feature one is categorical column which is the type of a tumor 30 numerical columns so this is a correlation data set a correlation chart for our breast cancer data set and as you can see type is with the background black because it's a target column and whenever i click on any of the individual column as you can see over here i am able to see the histogram and with histogram i have also one line so this line is correlation of this like particular value 10 over there 10 over here correlation of uh, those value which are in this range 10 with the target value so that's the percentage over here so that's how you can explore the relationship of these columns individual columns with the target variable majority of other things are same but there is only no, the only addition to this uh, particular report is this line which shows the relationship with the target variable which we specified as type tumor type so that's how you can do uh, target variable analysis so let's move on and to next section and let's compare two different data sets now in order to compare two different data set what i have done over here is that i have divided our windf data set into two different data set train and test data set so i have used train test split function available from scikit-learn to split our wine data set into train and test sets so 80 percent of the data set is kept as a train data set and remaining 20 percent is kept test data set so now we can compare two different data sets so in order to compare two different data sets the name of the function is compare so over here you need to specify what is the source so main data set which is train df in our case and what is the another data set to which you want to compare it which is test df let's execute this line of code so now the report generated will be comparing these two different data sets so now report is generated let's see yeah so now as you can see there are two different uh, values over here one is data frame one and another is compared so as you can see first data frame train df has 
142 rows and the test DSS 36 rows and you can also see size and features and all that and over here you can see when I click on associations we can see the heat map of correlation for train df and when I click over here this is the correlation for test df and as you can see when I click over here the distinct values and all are present for two different data set with two different colors same goes for the charts there are two different values present so the blue one is for original and the pink uh, not pink the orange one is for the test data set yeah so you can easily compare two different data set though in my case i did not have two different data set so that's why i divided the original data set into train and test set but if you have two different data sets then you can compare them so uh, in this report as you can see I did not do target analysis in comparison but you can do that as well so over here i have same code so i have this time i am dividing a uh, breast cancer data set into train and test set and then i am generating compare report for them and target feature is set as type so you can do compare two data set along with target variable analysis as well right so now the report is generated and as you can see the target column is highlighted over here with the black background and there is a comparison between uh, main data frame train data frame and test data frame so you can check what is the values of this uh, target variable in both the data sets so using this you can compare whether the distribution of variables between two different data set is same or not this can give you idea if your machine learning model is not performing well so there can be possibility that uh, some variable has a different distribution in train data set and test data set so that can create a problem from you and you will need to handle it but at least using this comparison analysis you will know that there is some kind of difference between train and test data set so in this section i have explained you how you can compare a single data set based on the value of some boolean column so let's say that in your data set you have some boolean column and you want to compare so you can divide the data set into two different data set based on the values of uh, this boolean variable the rows which are there for true value and the rows which are there for false value so if you want to compare based on that so for that the function name is uh, compare intra so to this function you give the source df which is in this uh, in this case i am giving our breast cancer data set then you need to give condition series so over here i am giving the type column data as bool so type column is a tumor type which has value 0 and 1 so it will have true and false value because i am type casting over here to boolean so this will be condition based on this condition this race uh, cancer data set will be divided into two data set the value of the rows where value is true and rows where value is false and then the report will be generated which compares these two different data set which are created based on this condition series so let's check that as well right so the report is generated and as you can see benign and malignant so this time i'm comparing between benign uh, data set so the values of rows where the values are zero so benign tumor and one where malignant tumor if you want to do this kind of comparison rather than comparing two different data set you might want to compare like this as well so as you can see we can see correlation for those rows and the correlation for other rows and over here as you can see that uh, this mean radius for uh, benign rows is in this range as you can see from 5 to 15 around and for malignant tumors it's starting from 10 230 so there is a radius difference so you can perform this kind of analysis as well this will give you idea like how the other rows of the data set are divided based on this boolean column all right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explain how you can perform initial eda on your data set using python library sweet with, with just two lines of code if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and have a wonderful day See you next time.